Hello, welcome to the channel and welcome to yet another ladies conference. Um, I hope you sisters are doing well out there today. I know I'm doing great on my end. I wanted to chat with you ladies about um, slander from the mouths of um, a lot of these um, no count males out here. Okay, well, first of all, I want to say this. Um, I can remember, and this was probably um, way back in high school days, and even, you know, when I was um, very young, you know, like in my 20s. And I remember how there would be certain males that would try to trash the names and the reputations of certain women. Um, that they have been with, you know, or now that I think back, maybe they weren't with those women. Maybe they just wanted them to look bad. But nevertheless, um, they would trash talk the women. And then I can remember um, it being said that um, there were certain men that would sleep with women or some somebody would say, oh, um, if you sleep with those men, uh, they're just going to talk about you and this and the third. And I just remember, um, I believe there were females that were going through that type of thing back in those days and I don't know well I'll put it like this I don't know I can't say I remember specifically who the females were I'm not even trying to it's none of my business I don't care about that but I wanted to come on because I know that a lot of you may be facing situations where there are males out there that are trashing your names and reputations and a lot of you don't know what to do about it because um see you got to understand a lot of males are like this if it is something that they are accustomed to doing, then they think they can do it with every female. And what they fail to realize is that sometimes they can cross paths with certain females that say the buck stops here. One thing I wanna share with you ladies out there, I've always had a spotless reputation. Always had a spotless reputation because I never ran the streets, I've never slept around. I believe in having a boyfriend or a significant other and you just be dedicated to that one person. Now, whether or not if that one person is dedicated to you, well, then that's a whole other story. So that's why, you know, you live and learn and you begin to, you learn how to recognize a snake when you see one, but that's a whole nother topic. But I'm talking about that's who I am, okay? So that's the reason why I'm so fierce in making sure that I protect who I am because I don't allow nobody to touch my name. I don't allow nobody to touch my reputation. Nobody out there is going to defame my character because I will run them all the way to the gates of hell and they will go through and I will come back to earth. Okay? That's the type of chick that I am because I do not play that. And um I know um it was the summer of 2021. My paths had crossed with somebody who didn't know me, was not raised around me, don't know nothing about who I am as a person. And it is my understanding that that person who did not know me, but was obviously accustomed to dragging the names of females through the mud, drug my name through the mud falsely and didn't even know me. But oh my gosh, that person did not know who they were messing with. Because I'm telling you, when they ran up on me, this is where the buck stops. I'm here to tell you, that I came back at that person and I'm still coming back at that person because see, I'm cut from a different cloth and that's what that individual didn't know. You're not gonna drag my name through no kind of dirt. You're not gonna defame my character and you're not going to um, spread lies on me because I'm gonna come back with the truth. And that's exactly what I did as it pertains to that particular male. Because you know what? When he messed with me, he messed with the wrong one. And so I just wanna tell you all that the way that you deal with a lie, first of all, you allow uh, Father God to handle the situation, but also you have to come back at a lie with the truth, the truth of God, the truth that you know to be true. You know, um, you can't just let the devil just run all over you and destroy your name, destroy your reputation. Because it, it is the enemy. And this individual, from what I understand, was running around out there spreading lies on me, telling lies about me to their family, to their friends, uh, probably people at the gig, I believe, um, trying to get laughs off of me. Um, from what I understand, the person had went. Because, see, the person was trying to make people think that I liked him. And, and I didn't like him that way. I was friendly to him like I am anybody that I meet. 
but I didn't like him that way. So he played himself and made a monkey out of himself. But see, what he thought it was going to look like was that, oh, she likes me, but then he went and got married to somebody, okay? And then it is my understanding that from the downloads I'm getting, he lied about my character to the person that he married. Now, I don't care nothing about it because, see, the person that he married is a straight up whore okay so you know I don't, and even if it wasn't a whore i don't care you know i mean that person don't know me and never will but my point is this you see the picture that this dude thought he was painting and he thought it was funny that um you know he would come i, I don't know if he would come and speak to me and i don't know what the i know what the dude thought he was trying to do but at the same time i wasn't looking at him like that the only thing I was concerned about is stacking my papers because when I'm at a gig, it's business professional. It is not me in there trying to get a hookup with anybody. You know, I feel like a lot of people do meet uh, people uh, at their gigs. They meet some people have actually met their spouses at gigs, but for that particular for that particular type of dude, it was a no. He's not my type. You know what I'm saying? But I can be nice, okay? But um, I just want to tell you all. You know, you cannot control the people that you cross paths with you can't control what they say you can't control what they do but you can come back with the truth you know in the name of the lord and uh, set the record straight and uh you do have a right ladies to set the record straight you don't have to walk around and just accept what those types of males are throwing on you all because i'm sure i don't know but i may not be the first um female whose name that he has trashed and from what I understand, um, that person, he can't trash my name. I mean, nobody can trash me because I'm coming for you. But from what I understand, it married a complete whore. Um, the individual was trying to make its family and friends think that it was involved with me romantically when it never has been. Um, it was trying to make its family and friends think that it had um, had some type of an intimate relation with me. It never has. I mean, you know, I mean, what would that make me look like? I'm out here spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ, but have this uh, secret rendezvous going on with some old hoe at the gig. I mean, really? So the uh, Satan, you could try something else. You could try something else other than that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, the devil just makes me sick. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, if it ain't a man of God, it ain't even no need to even look my way, okay? Because I'm not going to be dealing with nobody that's got the spirit of the devil in them. What do you look like, ladies, as ladies of God, but you marrying a devil? You dating a devil. So basically, you fighting the devil and the devil in the person that you that you are coming into union with. That, that, that's, some, that, that's, that's ridiculous. We know we are not to be unequally yoked. But anyway, I just wanted to come on to clarify that. And then, um, you know, there was some other another group of another enemy or something else that the person was sleeping with that said was that I told the person that I um, put out a lie said that I was on drugs using drugs said that I was promiscuous and slept around and all of that and that's some whore from my understanding the download that I got that's supposed to be in my bloodline that goes under a title as cousin or something like that no that is not my cousin and uh, I don't know that person that person doesn't know me and uh, that person is just uh, speaking that those lies because that person is jealous of me wants to be me and will never be me okay that person doesn't have what it takes to try to be me okay and from what i understand this person has done all sorts of filth behind my back well not behind my back no that's not the truth this person and i'm talking about the dude has was deliberately doing disrespectful things behind my back but i've already um addressed that monkey from hell and um you know um it's a wrap with that and uh, like i said that person should know not to open its mouth to me again uh that person is a drug addict a drunk uh, that person is stuck in a toxic marriage where um from my understanding the person that it married utilized witchcraft voodoo and magic and stuff things what they call i think it, they call it sex magic and stuff like that to influence the person or coerce the person towards itself to marry it that's none of my business either but you know i just look at it like this you can't be running around with your tongue on a child of god and then expect the devil not to turn on you i mean come on now uh can we talk my sisters okay and that person's life is a living hell their reputation is ruined um from what i understand they have babies out here that they probably don't even want by whores they don't want so you know they're going to be stuck with child support most likely for the rest of their lives and from what i understand that person has children uh stroll somewhere everywhere probably in other states i'm not sure but that's the download that i've gotten and that um it is my understanding that um 
whenever that person gets somebody pregnant, it'll say something to the effect of, um, well, I got another one on the way or something like that. My sisters, that is a piece of trash. Stay away from a hood rat. <laughs> Stay away from those types of hood rats. You know the types of dudes that's got children stroll everywhere, all these different babies, mamas that they don't take care of, and all they do is jump from female to female to female. And even when they get involved with the female, they've got a, a bunch of other females over here in the corner um, in reserves in case it doesn't work out with this person. Well, then they feel like, well, I'll just go over here to this one. And, and if it doesn't work, work out with that one, then I'll just go over there to that one. Then I'll just go. You know, it's, that is filth like that. Filth like that. I was going to say don't need to be on this planet, but you know what? The devil got to work through somebody to test us. Okay, my sisters. But let me tell you something. I, I just thank God that Father was standing right there along my side watching this idiot make a fool out of itself by coming up against somebody like me. You know what? Because it didn't know who I was and am, just like my other enemies did not know. And uh, so, you know, sometimes, sometimes hey, you know, you can show them better than you can tell them who you are. You understand? In the Lord. And um, who you are even before you came to the Lord. Because you know, those that are chosen or predestined to be this and that for the kingdom of God, it was before we even knew God. So, you know, before we knew God, he knew us. You know, and that's why we love Father. Because he first loved us. Okay? So anyway, I just want to clarify that whole drug lie and just um, that person going around trying to make people think that I was involved with him sexually. Okay, what I look like spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ, but out there committing fornication with a whore manga from the, a gig. What does that look like? The devil need to try something else. You need to try something else. Not that what else you try going to work. That ain't going to work neither. But, but do you see um, who the devil was working through and all the lies? And what would that make me look like? I'm out here preaching and teaching against fornication and adultery, but the devil's trying to make it look like I'm secretly having relations with this dude at the gig, and not only a dude at the gig, but I, but I, from my understanding, the trick was married. Oh my gosh, the trick was married. Had workplace whores, whores out in society, had whores knocked up. Oh my gosh, and then when I think, you know, it's it's kind of a confusing story, but from the downloads I'm getting, went and married a whore that was much younger I guess than it and I guess much younger I don't know I don't care you know what that person's life is full of so much chaos confusion and demonic um things I'm not even gonna I wouldn't even get in that clown show that's a hell hot mess what they call a that's a fecal show <laughs> a fe that person's life is our entire fecal show that person has no morality, no integrity, no standards, no structure, no proper raising, no proper upbringing. It's our animal. <laughs> anyway, our animal from the pit of hell. But I tell you what, it's been called out and disabled this day. So the only thing I could tell that person is that, you know what? Um, you mess with me, you got the right one. You don't touch my name. You don't touch my reputation. You don't defame my character because I'll come for you. You and any other whore out there, male or female. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you should have um, talked to my other enemies and asked them how I roll before you came up against a chick like me because I don't bat down to nobody. And I'm definitely not going to bat down to a piece of trash like you. Now, I'm talking to that dude now. But anyway, um, that's all I have to say, brothers and sisters, as I report from the battlefield. And that's the craziness that's been going on around my life, but not in my life. That stuff has nothing to do with my, my real life. My life, my real life is very private and it is very peaceful. You know, I'm not in any type of turmoil, agony, stress, heart, ache, nothing. It is all good my way. It's just that Satan is the one out there painting illusions and stories and telling lies and, and uh, painting uh, pictures that are false. Okay. I want to clear that up, and I feel like I've done so. Okay, so with that said, God bless you all until next time. Stay sober, stay vigilant, and keep your hands in the master's hands because with Jesus, you cannot go wrong. God bless you all until next time. Bye-bye.